Hello, my name is Suhyun Lee, and I'm an assistant professor at S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies at Nanyang Technological University. RSIS introduced the MSc program in IPE in the middle of 2004. As an independent and interdisciplinary field, international political economy brings economic theories and politics together to understand the dynamics of global and regional affairs and their interactions with domestic issues. So studying international political economy means that we are going to learn about various determinants of integration into the global economy, specifically transnational flows of goods, services, capital, and people. Studying IP also means that we are going to think about the political dynamics of market operations and global and the regional economic forces that affect and shape domestic policies. A series of current affairs such as the U.S.-China trade war, the proliferation of trade agreements across regions, global financial crisis, populist reactions against globalization, and the outbreak of the COVID pandemic all suggest that this is very important to understand the interactions between economics and politics and their policy implications. The MSc program in IPE at RSIS will provide you ample chance to learn about IP issues and uh, develop your analytical framework and skill set for future career moves. The coursework in the IP program consists of two core courses and seven primary courses. The first core course, uh, labeled Theories and Issues in International Political Economy, aims to introduce students to a variety of theoretical and empirical literature on the issues of domestic politics of trade, the multilateral trading system, global monetary politics and capital, and foreign direct investment and globalization. The second core course uh, concentrates on research method, specifically quantitative method in international politics and affairs. So students will learn about how to use and understand the statistical analysis and how to apply them to international and the regional affairs. IP students will also gain theoretical and the practical knowledges while taking a series of elective courses in our program taught by our RSIS faculty members. Students will discuss the issues of the international economics for the international political economy, regional economic corporations and institutions, economic development, the politics of international trade and finance, and environmental issues and energy policy. Our program also offers a series of interesting courses that focus on regional economic affairs, such as the political economy of Southeast Asian countries, the economic rise of China in the global economy, and the comparative political economy in a more cross-national perspective, plus the political risk management. Our students uh, have been having a thriving and uh, successful career path after graduation. Our record shows that the RSIS alumni of the IP program have been working actively in private sectors, such as consulting firms and banking. Other students uh, have been also actively working after graduation in different areas, such as journalism, media outlets, government sectors, regional and international organizations, uh, or so at NGOs. So if you'd like to know more about the MSc program in international political economy, please visit our website of the RSIS. Thank you very much for your interest.